Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything you need to know about the brand new legend, Vantage, for Apex Legends in Season 14. Guys, do me a favor, man. Make sure you're dropping a like on this video and consider subscribing to the channel. Let's hop right into this one here today, my friends. We're going to be checking out the passive ability, the actual tactical ability, and then the ultimate, of course. We also have a couple different things I need to point out about our tactical and also when we're using snipers with a long to medium range scope. So, number one, we're going to start with our passive ability. And basically what you can do when your weapons are holstered, or if you have a sniper rifle with a long to medium range scope, you can ADS and you will see a highlight up in the top left, which is the most important part in my opinion. It will show you a range. So basically, if you are scouting over a cliff, you can just ADS, see a range up at the top left, un-ADS and start to move in or continue to scout for that enemy. You can also notice there is a small blue box around this dummy. That is our enemy in this case right now. But in my opinion, the range up at the top left while you're doing this without a scope is the most important part. Now with a scope, you can see it is the exact same UI, but this one's a little more important because now you have a very focused line of sight and you'll know that somebody is within that blue square now you're probably noticing the little tiny blue circle that is uh in my crosshair well that my friends is a bullet drop indicator so it will let you know where your rounds are going to hit uh with mid to long range scopes and i think that's really really cool so i'm going to show you we're going to chest shot there we go so it shows you your bullet drop. Um, that's pretty much it when it comes to the passive ability for Vantage. It's cool, don't get me wrong. It's definitely not the best passive uh, in the game. You're not regening health. So, you know, it's definitely not one of the best in my opinion. But it's definitely interesting and great for a sniper support role. Um, but here it is in action once again. And that is pretty much everything that your passive ability does. Now... Let's check out the tactical ability, the echo relocation. So you have a little bat that just kind of chills with you until it needs to be used. And there's a lot of different ways to use this ability, which I think is really, really cool. So with our tactical ability, we're going to send out this little bat. He's going to go 40 meters in front of us, and it will start to follow you at 60 meters. So I'm going to show you that first. We sent the bat out. Now we're just going to run away from it. And as soon as we hit 60 meters, it is actually uh, starting to get a little bit closer. If you're on a zip line or something like that, it'll start following you to about 65 meters just because of your speed. Uh, and then once you approach the bat, it will stay pretty much stationary. So to not jump to the bat, but to recall the bat, for me, it's right stick. I'm not sure if it's a different hotkey. I have my right stick actually set to my emotes, and I have my melee down on the D-pad. So, But for me, it is just one click on the right stick. So once again, we are going to send the bat out. Time to hunt, little guy. And it's going to go 40 meters. And to jump to the bat, we have to be within a sight line of the bat. So what does that mean? Well, let me go in here. Let me show you. All right, so you guys can see. See how this is red? And I try to jump to this bat. It says lost LOS. It failed. We can't jump to the bat. As soon as we get a clear sight line on the bat, we can now jump to it. To jump to your bat, you have to hit l1 but you have to hold it all right you have to press l1 down and hold it to jump like this got an angle. and once you get to the bat you can actually double jump now you can't just double jump whenever you want it is only when you are jumping to the bat so i'm trying to double jump right now can't do it can't do it at all so it's only when you jump to the bat you might have noticed that we use our tactical ability but the bat remained that is very important for you to know because if you have the bat behind you, then what you can do is actually let it follow you into a gunfight. So, for example, we are running, and the bat is actually following us right now. As you can see on the UI, it's about 54 meters away. Let's say there's a guy up here. We're about to get in a gunfight. We don't want to. We're going to jump right to the bat. Launching to a new angle. And there you go. We're away from that gunfight, back towards our team. So it allows you to push up a little bit and, you know, kind of sneak back if you need to. Now, you're going to be wide open. People are going to see you jumping. So keep in mind that you don't have any cover doing this. It's not like Wraith where you're going in another dimension. You can't be shot. No, you are literally just flying through the air and you definitely could get shot. So we're going to recall the bat and I want to show you guys something important. Um, so we're just going to deploy the bat once again and we're going to jump to it. Echo's picked a sweet angle. Moving. And now we're going to recall it. And you can see we're on cooldown, right? 
We can still throw our bat wherever we want. Let's find a good perch. So the bat, once again, goes wherever we want it to. And you can see it's still not ready. But you can call and recall this bat wherever you want. You can do it as many times. And, um, you know, there's no cooldown on you positioning the bat. And that's something that is definitely worth pointing out. As you guys can perch. see. We're going to jump. Recall. Deploy. Let's go, Echo. And there you go. So, you can do a lot with this bat. It works in a couple different ways, and you can kind of play it to how you like to play it, which is something cool. Uh, but I think compared to other abilities in the game right now, kind of underpowered as well. And that's why I don't think this legend is the most broken one. Like when Seer was first introduced, he was the most broken legend, hands down. But obviously, after some nerfs, we don't really have to worry about Seer too much lately. But, uh, you know, the moment you guys have been waiting for, man, let's check out the alt. So, I want to point something out to you before we actually uh, do anything more with the sniper. Number one, where you see, obviously, our alt symbol at the very bottom of our screen. You see the little orange bar. There's five ticks. That's actually how much ammunition you have. Your ammunition regens. We're just going to shoot a shot. You can now see there is four ticks on the bottom. And what we can do is actually wait for the fifth round to come back to us. But another thing I want you to notice is that we put our sniper away and we still have our alt. You can pull out the sniper as much as you want. It does not disappear. So once you have your alt, and if you don't use all your ammo in a gunfight, basically you have unlimited ammo and a sniper rifle for long range spotting the entire game. And don't get me wrong, some are going to call this overpowered. It's really not because the damage output on the sniper rifle is just not as good as a sniper like the Sentinel. So I'm going to show you that now. But one thing the sniper does do is give us a damage boost after your first shot. So right now we have a Sentinel out and we're going to body shot 70 damage. All right, let's get the alt back out. We're going to shoot another dummy right in the chest. Let's see, do I have one that's full held somewhere? There we go. Chest shot does 50 damage, but now we have a damage bonus applied to the person we just shot. As you guys can see, that shot did a significant amount more damage. And, you know, it's kind of broken, but it's kind of not. You, you have to hit that first shot, which is like... The hardest part sometimes, you know, just getting that first shot locked in. Obviously, if a guy's standing still, you're not going to be able to take the headshot because it's not going to kill him. It's not going to come anywhere close. It's only going to do like 100 damage on headshot, I think. Uh, let me see here. Headshot damage is 75. It's 75 on the uh, headshot damage. So, you know, it's kind of like... It's an interesting ultimate. It definitely works, but at the same time, it's just like... It feels like I have to run two snipers, you know what I mean? But once you get that damage bonus, it really does help out your team. But you have to hit those shots, number one. I mean, these are targets that are standing still. Everything combined about this legend, I think, is pretty cool. But I don't think it's even close to a legend you can you can consider running. I mean, if you're playing casually, sure. But if you're playing any kind of competitive, it's just like there's absolutely no point. Once again, I want to note. I want you to notice that we do have the bullet drop indicator for our ultimate sniper as well. But um, you know, just the damage output on this thing is not good enough. Seventy-five, and with the damage bonus, a headshot will do one fifty. So it's not bad at all. But um, let me show you here. If we do, okay, did he respawn? He did. So we're gonna get the damage bonus locked in. Now we're gonna switch to our sentinel. Go for the headshot. And that's going to do um, significantly more as well to the head. 161 in comparison to uh, 140. So you're not, you're getting a nice bonus there as well. But it's just like, truthfully, I, I don't think this legend is it. Um, so this is everything about the legend. This has been my honest thoughts review and how to use Vantage. And, you know... It's not a bad legend, but it's not the best legend. So, guys, let me know what you think about the new legend here in Apex Legends for Season 14. Like I said, man, I'm not really a fan, but you guys might be. And if you are, make sure you let me know in the comments. Guys, make sure you leave that like, subscribe, sponsor, and equipment description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you for stopping by. I'm out.